Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Miss Trisha's virtual classroom. I'm so glad to have you here with me today. I am sad to announce that they announced yesterday that schools will be closed in Maryland for the rest of the school year, which means we won't be able to get back together all again and have our moving ahead ceremony like we had planned. But that doesn't mean we can't have fun here on the computer. So every day, make sure that you're watching your videos. We have three videos a day, morning message, read aloud, and math time. And each video has an assignment that goes along with it, whether that be a writing assignment, or answering questions, or taking a video of you doing an obstacle course, or any kind of fun stuff like that, you can be sure to post in our Google Classroom so that Ms. Trisha can see it and give you a grade, and make sure that you're receiving credit for your work as you continue to get ready for kindergarten. So this week and last week, we've been learning about bugs. Today will be our last lesson together um, about bugs in general, but next theme is the theme about growing and changing. So what that means is we're going to be talking about how animals and bugs grow and change. We're going to talk about the stages of the butterfly next week. We're going to have a whole week dedicated to butterflies. We're going to be talking about how do you grow and change, how do plants grow and change, and then we'll put that all together and have a growing and changing um, theme. So are you ready to get started? Because I surely am. Let me start our presentation so that you can see my window. Share. Thursday's read aloud. It's time to read a book. Come with me. It's time to read a book. Come and see. It's time to read a book. It's time to read a book. It's Time to read a book, come with me. Today, we are going to be learning about <clears throat> all different kinds of bugs. So make sure that you have your listening ears on. You're gonna show me five, show me that your eyes are watching, your ears are listening, your mouths are closed. Your hands are in your lap, and I want you to sit crisscross or comfortably on your carpet. So before we get started, what's the first thing we do every day before we start a lesson? We like to sing and dance. And we like to sing and dance just not because it's fun, but because it's also functional. It helps our bodies and our minds get ready to learn because it pumps our boom, boom, boom. It pumps our blood to our thinking brain, and it pumps the blood all the way to our fingers and our toes. So let's get started. Hold on one second. Because we are going to sing the insect song once this ad finishes playing. Five. Four, three, two, one. Let me turn the volume up. Let me press play here. Oh, it sounds like the wheels on the bus. Dum, 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 Drink the nectar. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Call me spiders, spin 
So it's time to read our book. Come with me. Today's book is going to be What Kind of Bug Am I? And you can find today's reading at getepic.com. So I have to go back to the beginning. Sorry, guys. It says, What Kind of Bug Am I? by Taylor Farley, which means that's the author. She the, writes the words, and it looks like this book is full of photography, but there's not an illustrator, there's a photographer. So it says, Close-up photos and intriguing clues prompts readers to guess what kind of bug will be revealed on the following pages. Are you ready? I am red with black spots. What kind of bug am I? We have.
had a whole day dedicated to her last week, remember? She helps the farmers keep the plants safe because she eats up the aphids. And she migrates to the south in the winter. It's a ladybug. My ladybug has blue spots because she's just a toy. A ladybug. What bug has black and yellow stripes? What kind of bug am I? Bzzz, it buzzes. It eats the nectar. It make pretends that we learned that it makes a dance to show other bees how, where to find the flowers. And it turns the nectar into honey in the beehive. I just said it. It's a bee. My bee is red because it's a toy. I have a hairy body and lots of legs. We also learned that this bug turns metamorphosis, it means it changes into a butterfly. What bug was that? If you said caterpillar, you were right. Good job. And then this bug is green all over and can jump very high. What kind of bug am I? A grasshopper. And we learned that it rubs its wings together and it also stays up at night and sleeps during the day. We learned all about lots of bugs. And here's a new bug. It buzz like a bee, but I like to eat poop. Are you kidding me? Have you ever been to a farm or walking where somebody didn't clean up their dog poop and you saw lots of these bugs flying around the poop? What kind of bug was it? It looks like a bee. It has compound eyes. It's a fly. Uh, bees are important because they spread pollen from plant to plant. Without bees, many kinds of plants would not grow. At the right time, a caterpillar will form a chrysalis or cocoon and then change into a butterfly or a moth. We're going to learn more about caterpillars and moths and butterflies next week, like I said. A fly does not have teeth. It can only eat liquids. It turns solid food into liquid by spitting it out. Trisha has to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. A grasshopper can hear sounds by using a membrane on its belly. Ooh, that's interesting. And a ladybug is a kind of beetle. Its bright red colors warns other bugs and animals to stay away. Let's finish our book. And we also have what kind of bird am I? What kind of reptile am I? Those are fun books for you guys to check out on your own. We earned 197 points because we read for seven minutes. Good job, friends. So let's review. Ms. Trisha wants you guys to write the answers to these questions on a piece of paper, or if you can, take a video of your student answering these questions. So let's review and say, what kind of bug is red with black spots? We learned last week that it keeps the plants, it keeps the farmers happy because it keeps the plants healthy by eating all the bugs, the aphids. It migrates to the south. It's a ladybug. And which bug is yellow with black stripes? Mine is red because it's a play pretend bug. But what bug is yellow with black stripes? It eats pollen and nectar and turns it into honey. And it has a little funny dance to show the others where to find the flowers. And it lives in a beehive. It's a bee. And which bug is hairy with lots of legs? And it turns into a butterfly when it's after it goes into a chrysalis. It's a caterpillar. And which bug has two long legs that help it jump? jump and it chirps it's a grasshopper and this bug looks like a bee and it eats it only liquid it's a fly all right so then we also have 
to watch this video on YouTube and take a video of your child moving like each insect mentioned in the video. Upload the video to Google Classroom. So here's a tip for my, my parents that are having a hard time look, logging into their Google Classroom. On your phone or your iPad, or if you're using a, a mobile device of such sorts, uh, a tablet, Go to the Gmail app and download that and make sure that your child's email, first name dash last name at pgcps.org, make sure that device is logged in, whether that be your phone or a tablet, logged into the email first. And then go to the website www.classroom.google.com and try to get into the Google Classroom that way. After you do that, then it was given to me as a tip, then go and download the Google Classroom app. And after you've logged in that way onto the device, you should be able to get into the Google Classroom. I think a lot of the mistake is being made right now is that the child's email is not logged onto the device first. So our letter of the day are J, W, and S. And we are gonna review using Starfall. We're going to go to the kindergarten and pre-K area. And we go to ABCs. And we're going to click, which letter should we click first? Let's click J. And letter J. J. Hold on one second. That's one. J. 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 Jeff. 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 Jump. Jeff. Jeff. Jelly beans. <laughs> Jeff. Drag the puzzle pieces to make a word. We got J. U M P J A M J A M J A M Jump, jump, frog, jump. Good jump. That was the letter J, and another letter was letter S. I see snow on a scale. Snake. Snake. S S. 
Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Oh, look how many S's are in that one. One, two, three, four S's. And then we also had the letter W this week. W for web, like a spider web. Woof. Ooh, what is that? Woof. Woof. A woo. What does that word say? Don't walk. Don't walk. 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 Oh, we also have wig. Wig. Oh my. <laughs> we also have wigs. Wigs. <laughs> They're wearing silly wigs. So that's one way to review. Another way to review your letters this week is to go to getepic.com and they have books, J, S, and W books that you can read. And here are the... Um, the links included in that, that will the, the PowerPoint will be included into the Google Classroom um, presentation. So if you want to practice writing your letters, review the letters J, S, and W. Find letters that start with these words. Find words that start with these letters and take a picture and send it to us. Thank you for tuning in to our video. We had a fantastic time learning this week. Great job with all the students who have been submitting their work and sending pictures, whether that be on Class Dojo or Google Classroom. Thanks to the parents who continue to keep trying to log into Google Classroom. I hope today's tip will help you get into Google Classroom. It's important that you get in there so we can submit our assignments and keep track. And uh, that will be it for now. I will see you back later today for our math lesson, which will be um, going over plus one. So if I have five and I want to add one, how many do I have now? Six. So it's important to know our number line and learn about addition and subtraction so that we can now go into more um, harder problems. So I'll see you later. Have a good afternoon. Eat your lunch and check back in later.